Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Raj from Radical Deckard, your process automation strategist. Today we will cover how to choose the right pressure transmitter, like types and selection guide. So first let's start with what is pressure transmitter. A pressure transmitter measures the pressure of gases or liquids and converts it into a standard electrical signals like 4 to 20 mA for monitoring and control. It is widely used in process industries like water treatment, oil and gas, food, pharma and power. So let's quickly look at the main types of the pressure transmitter. First, let's start with gauge pressure transmitter. It measures pressure relative to the atmospheric pressure used in tanks and pipelines. Second one is absolute pressure transmitter. Measured against a perfect vacuum, ideal for vacuum system, barometric measurements. And third one is differential pressure transmitter. It measures pressure difference between two points. It is widely used for flow measurement, filter monitoring and level in closed tanks. Fourth one is multivariable transmitter. Measures pressure, temperature and differential pressure. It is used in high accuracy, flow calculation and energy monitoring. Now let's go step by step through the pressure transmitter selection guide. Before selecting the pressure transmitter, you need to consider this type of steps. First step is define the pressure type like gauge, absolute or differential pressure that you want to consider. Match this to your application need. Second step is decide the pressure range. Always choose a transmitter with the range of 25 to 30 percentage higher than your operating pressure. Step 3 is check accuracy requirements. Standard accuracy is plus or minus 0.5 percentage for general use. For critical applications, plus or minus 0.1 percentage for flow or level. Step 4 is select output signal like 4 to 20 mA for most common areas or digital signals like heart, warbus or profibus for smart system. Step 5 is choose process connection. Threaded NPT or BSP, flange or dry clamp for sanitary applications or use flush diagram for slurry or viscous media. Step 6 is material compatibility. SS316 for clean fluids, hest alloy or PTFE for corrosive chemicals. Step 7 is environmental factors. Need IP67 or IP68 for outdoor and if you go for high temperature consider diagram cells. For explosion proof zones, get ATEX or IEC explosion proof certified models. Step 8 is mounting and maintenance. Remote mount is required or not or easy access for calibration. You need to check this. Ninth step is budget versus features. You need to check your accuracy, certification, diagnosticity and brand support that will be provided by brand. Now let's cover some of the application examples. First is water treatment plant. Gauge transmitter monitor inlet and outlet pressures. Second is boiler system. Absolute pressure transmitter ensures safe steam control. In pharma, differential transmitter tracks pressure and level. For chemical reactors, multivariable transmitter helps in slow plus energy monitoring. Choosing the right pressure transmitter can optimize your process, reduce downtime and improve safety. If you are still unsure, just send us your application details. We will help you to select the best fit for you. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in my next video.